What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at some of the best tweaks you can get on iOS 10. Now most of these tweaks I have done individual reviews on, uh, so if you guys want to find out more information about any tweak in specific, I will leave a playlist link in the description with all of those reviews for all the different tweaks. So be sure to check out that playlist link, like I said, if you guys want to get more information about one particular tweak. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and let's jump into this. So if you don't like the stock iOS volume HUD, as I do myself, I really don't like the volume HUD. I think it's it's kind of stupid and it's in the way of everything. Uh, this is a cool tweak for you. It's called Bye Bye HUD. So if you guys would notice when I change my volume, instead of having the annoying stock iOS volume HUD, we have Bye Bye HUD, which pretty much just puts it up in the status bar, and I think it looks much, much better uh, than Apple's version of it. Again, that tweak is called Bye Bye HUD. Next up, we have a must-have application from Cydia, and it's called Movie Box. Basically, with this application, you can watch brand new movies and TV shows 100% free. It's seriously an awesome application. Uh, you can also download the movies and download the TV shows onto your device uh, if you want to watch them offline. Uh, another thing that's cool about Movie Box is a lot of the movies that pop up on here uh, sometimes are still in theaters, which is pretty crazy. So you can watch them, you know, before other people if you don't want to go to the theaters to watch it. Uh, so definitely a very, very cool app. Like I said, everything's 100% free. All the movies, all the TV shows, there are a ton. Uh, if you guys want to figure out how to get Movie Box on your device, I'll have all the information in the, des the description of this video. So be sure to check it out. Again, it's called Movie Box. Dark Messages 3 is a tweak that will put your messages application into dark mode. This is a feature I really hope Apple adds to iOS in the future. Uh, I think it looks really, really good. So like I said, pretty much the tweak, it just puts your messages application all into dark mode. I think it looks really good. It's called Dark Messages. Boxy 3 is a must-have tweak on your device. It allows you to change your springboard layout to basically whatever you want. You can change the rows and the columns. You can change the spacing from side to side or up to down, even the spacing in between the applications. It's a seriously awesome tweak to have on your device. As you guys can see, you can make all these changes in real time and really customize your springboard uh, layout to be whatever you want. I think it's a, a very, very cool tweak. Uh, it is in beta right now. It is free to use. Um, I'll leave the information to get Boxy3 in the description for those of you that want to try it out. Color Banners 2 is a really cool tweak that will basically colorize any and all of the notifications you will get on your device. So basically any notification you get for whatever application, uh, the notification itself will be color matched to the dominant color of the application, which I think makes uh, notifications on your device look really cool. So if we do a test banner, as you guys can see at the top there, uh, that is the banner notification. And it's basically, like I said, color matched to whatever application you're getting that notification for. Definitely a really cool tweak. Color Banners 2. Bouncy NC10 is a very interesting tweak. Uh, pretty much what it does is it makes your notification center a little bit more bouncy when you open it. So as you guys can see, if you want to op open it like normal, you can just slide down, make sure you slide down to the bottom. But if you want it to have a little extra bounce, give it a good flick and it'll sit there and bounce a little bit more than normal. Uh, it's definitely a really cool tweak. Its bounciness is affected on how hard you actually, f you know, flick or drag notification center open. So if you don't want to waste time and you want to get to your notifications, you can just pull it open and release it right down to the bottom. But if you really want to give it a nice bounce, just give it a good flick. Definitely an interesting tweak. It's called Bouncy NC10. If you're jailbroken on the larger iPhone, as I am myself, this is a very functional tweak to have on your device. It's called Lock Music. So if we go ahead and go to the lock screen on my device, pretty much what Lock Music does is it moves the music controls to the bottom and moves the album art up. It makes it a lot easier to use one-handed on the larger iPhone, especially when you're driving or something like that. Uh, and it's very cool You get your uh, when you get your notifications as well. It'll basically kind of move everything around and it doesn't you know, block any notifications or anything like that. But the part I love about Lock Music is it makes one-handed use for music on the larger iPhone much easier. Again, that's called Lock Music. 
While we're talking about music tweaks, here's another cool one. It's called Color Flow 3. Basically, what this tweak does is it colorizes your music controls to match the album artwork of whatever song is playing. It's definitely a really cool way to spice up the look of your music. This works for Apple Music and also within Spotify, as you guys can see here. And it also will work on the lock screen, uh, which I think looks really, really cool as well. Another pretty neat music tweak. Again, it's called Color Flow 3. Now I'm sure a lot of you are going to ask me, how did you hide the names of the applications? Or how did you hide the page dots? Or how did you do this? How did you do that? Pretty much anything on my device that I haven't explained in this video so far, for the most part, has been done with the tweak Hide Me X. This is definitely a incredibly powerful tweak. Uh, it's probably like 40 to 50 tweaks all combined into one. Um, it's like I said, it's super powerful. It's basically kind of the Swiss Army knife of tweaks. I'm not going to show you guys everything you can do with this tweak because it's pretty ridiculous uh, the amount of stuff you can do with Hide Me X. Uh, but like I said, uh, this tweak I've used to do a lot of stuff on my device to make it look differently, to hide certain elements and stuff like that. So uh, definitely a must have on your device. Again, it's called Hide Me X. Lock Glyph X will add an Apple Pay animated fingerprint to your lock screen for when you scan your fingerprint to unlock your device. I'll show you guys what I mean. I currently have a Boba Fett theme enabled with the tweak, which I think looks really cool. But as you guys can see, as I scan my fingerprint, it does that Apple Pay animation uh, and it unlocks my device once the fingerprint is scanned. So definitely a really cool looking tweak if you want to make your lock screen look a little bit better in my opinion. Again, that is called Lock Glyph X. So there you go guys, those are 10 really awesome tweaks that you can get on iOS 10. Again, I'll leave all of the tweak info down in the description and also the playlist link for all of the reviews of those tweaks that I've covered individually. Like I said, if you guys want to find out more information about a tweak in specific, you can find them at that playlist. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this tweak lineup, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more tweak videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.